The one without the ski trip is the 17th episode of the third season of Friends. It's directed by Sam Simon. And on the one hand, I'd say it's one of the most memorable episodes, largely because of the different location. But on the other, it's not one of my favourites. And I think the reason it's not one of my favourites is not because it isn't funny, because it is, but it's because Ross is really unlikable in this episode. Despite the fact that... He slept with somebody else, and I and I think Rachel was at fault in the relationship at times as well, but I very much still think Roth was the one who was at fault. He acts like the victim in this episode, and it's not usual for me to feel that way about Roth, even when we have Roth behaving in different ways further down the line. I don't really want to spoil it too much. I think this is really the only episode, certainly one of the only episodes, where I hated the character's behaviour. I don't hate the character, of course, but the behaviour of the character is not great. And because I don't like feeling that way about Ross, it means I don't love the episode. But I can't fault the episode in terms of the narrative or the comedy. Everything else works really well. And there will be spoilers from this point as I discuss things mostly in chronological order. So obviously huge spoilers from now. And the opening scene sets things up really well because... Chandler and Joey are in Central Park. Monica and Phoebe come in. They're supposed to be meeting Rachel there. The guys are meant to be meeting Ross there. We learn that the state of their relationship at this moment means they basically can't be in the same room as each other. And this is what the whole episode is, is basically about. Rachel invites Chandler and Joey to uh, a show and they really want to go, but unfortunately they've already made plans with Ross. And what's really interesting about this is that even though Ross has been trying to get Rachel to communicate with him, he didn't invite her to come and see his new entertainment centre. And that's surprising because I thought he would have invite, invited her with the hope, the thin hope, that she would turn up. So I'm surprised he didn't actually mention it to her, unless he did and she'd forgotten about it. But either way, she is kind of okay with it or pretends to be okay with it. And then we realise Chandler starts smoking. And I love the fact that the second we see him with a cigarette, everybody pounces on him. At no point does the show make it look cool, does it make it look appealing. It's very clear that this is a, an action that the others very much disapprove of, which, of course, was the right way to approach it. Rachel then decides to invite everybody to her sister's cabin so they can go skiing. And in her words, she's playing by the rules. She's asking first and they all agree. And when they're at Ross's to view the entertainment centre and his new dartboard, they reveal that they're going to go skiing because he invites them over for a darts tournament. And Ross has the exact opposite reaction that Rachel did. When they couldn't go to Rachel's show, she pretended to be okay. Ross, on the other hand started playing the victim, started to try and make people feel sorry for him, for being on his own, for not being invited, not that he wanted to go. Well, not that he showed that he wanted to go. And that's kind of the first point when Ross really starts to act really unfairly. Because at the end of the day, this is his fault. He has no right to play the victim. So off the others go in Phoebe's car and... It's very cold. This episode is definitely a very wintry, chilly episode. And unfortunately, Rachel is the last one to get out of the car. She shuts the door. The keys are inside. They are stuck. And they try various things to get inside, mostly focusing on underwires. And nothing seems to work. And meanwhile, while they're stuck there, we learn that Ross visits Carol. Really great to see Carol. Always nice to see Carol. But again, he's he's playing the victim. He's looking for, well, partly looking for sympathy. And also, I just think partly he wants to talk about things. But he's not honest with Carol. He doesn't tell Carol what he did. And again, he's trying to get sympathy and play the victim. And it's just not acceptable. Ultimately, Phoebe phones up Ross and... This is the point when I started to hate Ross's behaviour in this because Phoebe explains they've run out of gas. Once they've got back inside the car, they run out of gas and she asks Ross for help. And Ross says, no, I'm with my real friends. So because they'd made plans already with Rachel, they're no longer his real friends. 
and it's disgusting. And Ross is a horrible person in this episode. Again, it is just this episode. Well, mostly just this episode. But I just, I hated him in this. And it's one of the reasons, the main reason why I just, I do not love this episode. We also get Ross saying we were on a break twice in this episode. I mean, say it louder for the people in the back. How many times... I don't actually know how many times he says it throughout the show. I'd be very keen to to know if anybody has counted. But certainly twice in this episode. And he does ultimately go and rescue them. And the guys, the guys, the rest of the characters point out that it's not fair. Ross and Rachel are putting them in the middle and they're going to ruin their friendship as a group. And I think it's a really important speech that they all kind of, that they give. and. It's definitely, I think, something a lot of people can think about if they're in a similar situation, that your actions are affecting other people, not just you and your ex-partner. And it's kind of emotional. And then, of course, Chandler does a dance. As always, when things get a little bit emotional, Chandler comes along and lifts the mood with his, his dance, which is very, very, very entertaining. And then, finally... Ross gets what he deserves. I think Ross not being able to start his car on his own once the others have driven off is the punishment he deserves for being nasty to them. Yes, he did drive out and help them, but I think that was mostly because Carol told him to and not necessarily something he did out of the goodness of his own heart. But getting left there, unable to start his car, was definitely because he called... um, Well, he said they're not his real friends and played the victim when he was the one in the wrong. So while I hated his behaviour, he got what was coming to him and we could move on and enjoy the rest of the show. That being said, I don't dislike this episode. I enjoy watching it. There are a lot of really great moments. I just, I don't like Ross's behaviour. I really can't get on board with Ross's behaviour in this episode. Other than that, the one without the ski trip is a good episode but it's never going to be a personal favourite.